Repsol will not renew its current sponsorship contract with Honda Racing Corporation (HRC) for the MotoGP World Championship, which ends on December 31st of this year. The Repsol Honda team is the most successful team in the history of the championship, with 11 team titles, 15 rider titles and 183 victories in the premier class of motorcycling. Now, the partnership has been officially confirmed as ending on December 31st this year. Repsol is grateful for HRC's, Honda Racing Corporation, commitment and dedication during all these years in which we have worked together, a Repsol statement read. The multi-energy company will continue to be linked to motor racing to continue developing products and services of the highest quality. The news arrived, surely coincidentally, on a day in which Repsol branded Hondas were already absent from MotoGP racing, as works riders Joan Mir and Luca Marini both withdrew from the San Marino Grand Prix due to illness. What likely isn't coincidence, however, is that the Repsol split comes amid a particularly woeful Honda season, in which it sits fifth of five factories in the manufacturer's standings, with no top 10 Grand Prix finishes and no realistic chance to even reel in fellow struggler Yamaha much less any of the other brands. Repsol Honda absent from Masano on Sunday A difficult weekend for Repsol Honda at Masano meant that neither of the team's riders participated in the San Marino GP race. Joan Mir had been absent since the start of the weekend due to gastroenteritis. On Sunday, Luca Marini was diagnosed with a virus that also ruled him out of the contest. It came after he placed 19th in the warm-up, suffering from a fever. Both riders will try to have track time at the IRTA test that will take place at Masano on Monday. An unpredictable Sunday at Masano saw a flag-to-flag -flag race, won by Marc Marquez. He was joined on the podium by Bagnea and Ennia Bastianini, as all three elected against changing bikes during the race. It was the second consecutive win for the Spaniard, who moved to the front in the second half of the San Marino GP to take the win. Bagnea, Jorge Martin and Franco Morbidelli broke away from the start, but two laps in the rain began to appear and the latter crashed. Whilst six riders came in to change bikes, it proved to be an unsuccessful strategy. Marquez was able to establish a more significant lead in the closing third, pulling away from Bagnea and Bastianini for the win, building on his sprint race victory and cutting the gap to the top in the overall standings. Brad Binder, Marco Bezicchi, Alex Marquez, Fabio Quartararo, Jack Miller, Fabio Gianantonio and Paul Aspargaro completed the top 10. The MotoGP World Championship has another round at Masano on September 20-22, the Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix.